Hi everyone, I'm Aaron Wentz. Today's talk is how to share Jesus with a non-Christian friend. Well, if you're like me, we care about people. We want people to know God and God's love, but yet sharing our faith is really, really hard. I mean, it's, it's really, really hard. I get it. Um, so the answer to this question is how do you share Jesus with a non-Christian friend? The answer is you share Jesus with a non-Christian friend. It's really that simple. We just have to make a step and go for it. That's really the answer. You know, you can ask a friend, hey, I've never really asked you this, but you ever think about spiritual things? Hey, I've never really asked you this, but you ever wonder what happens to us after we die? Hey friend, I've never really asked you this. I'm just curious, do you believe in heaven? Okay, I do too. Do you believe in God? How do you hope to get there? We just have to go for it. I mean, oftentimes we're just, we're, we're waiting for the non-Christian to approach us. Or we'll pray and say, God, if you want me to talk to so-and-so, then make them talk to me. <laughs> you know, it, we're, we're, it's a cop-out, right? I mean, people are in darkness. They're enslaved to their sin and their passions. And the Bible teaches us that the light pursues the darkness, not the darkness pursuing the light. It's the Christian's job. Jesus said, go into all the world and make disciples. It's our job. Well, I've been an evangelist for over 20 years in Chicago and Boston, and I moved back here to Michigan recently. And I actually, I actually did a little experiment. I moved into my little suburban country neighborhood in Michigan, and guess what I did? I did not evangelize to my neighbors as an experiment. Guess what happened? They thought I was nice, we had good conversation, but guess what? Nobody got evangelized. I did another ex experiment. I had to do a secular job for a little while here in Michigan as a dishwasher in a kitchen. I didn't say anything. When I quit, they were like, hey man, I thought you were one of us. I, was, I had good work ethic, I was a nice guy, and they thought I was one of them. Friends, that's what happens. If we don't say anything, they're just gonna think we're nice people. Our job is to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. And as my friend once told me, he said, you know what, when I, when I, when I go to school, when I'm in my classroom, when I, when, I have, when I get a new job, just make it obvious who you are right away. Because if you don't, it just makes it even harder to start spiritual conversations later. Just let people know who you are, make a comment that you're a believer, make a comment that you're, you're a Christian, and just let people know because you never know how God might use that. So one uh, practical step is to do this. You know what? Just send a video to somebody. Send a video and just say, hey man, I watched this video. What do you think of this? I'd love to hear your comments. It's a great way to evangelize somebody. Um, inviting somebody to the church, just go for it. Make a step, start a conversation. And that's how we can just begin to have spiritual conversations and begin to share Jesus with the world. Well, I'm Aaron and we have a whole program, a whole seminar set up for people to get confidence and get answers and get equipped to share their faith. It's through the Michigan School of Apologetics and with onlineapologetics.com. And we also do this over Zoom. So if you want more training, we do this over Zoom. We'd love to get to know you and help you. Leave a comment below if you're interested. God bless you.